What's up guys? So some time ago I made a video about iPhone 7 like I was just speculating the reasons why this phone did not necessarily get iOS 16 but now I believe I finally cracked it and I have the great answer why this phone is not supported despite the Apple 8 and Pro Store, despite you know better hardware than some of the iPads that are older and are still being supported. We finally got this. So to the point. Well, and the point is actually more obvious than I originally thought, because at first it didn't make sense to me. Apple A10 has been implemented into this phone and iPads with Apple A9 are still being supported. And I just couldn't make up my mind, you know, iPhone 6s dropping support, that was kind of obvious, but iPhone 7, I just couldn't accept that because this processor is actually way more powerful than Apple A9. So it didn't make any sense for me whatsoever until I actually started comparing the differences and making the videos between iOS and iPadOS. And if you actually look at that, iPadOS almost didn't get any upgrades. Like sure for those uh, M1 iPads specifically, yeah, you got stage manager, you got external monitor support, but this is only exclusive to the M1 iPads, right? And if you actually look at the casual iPads, the normal ones, they only got pretty much the weather app and like, nothing really more, just some minor tweaks to the files apps, which is pretty much the same as iPadOS 15. Hence, the devices that were supported with iPadOS 15, like iPad 5 with outdated Apple A9 chip, still got the further support. But when it comes to the iOS changes, like they really push that intelligence features, like live text in videos and the new lock screen, the features that require a neural engine and iPhone 7 wouldn't be able to push these features not because it's not powerful enough but because it doesn't have the neural engine so most of the features would actually be limited and we would kind of get the narrow down version of iOS 16 that would pretty much look and function the same as iOS 15. Therefore, I believe this is the reason Apple decided to stop supporting 6S and 7 because it doesn't have the neural engine, it doesn't push that intelligence that you know Apple really emphasizes right now. And if they wanted to upload iOS 16 to that phone, they sure could but like they would limit so many features that they probably thought it just wasn't worth and the six years overall of constant support of this phone was just enough uh, and frankly it kind of was but still you know that that was probably the main reason it's just the fact that they would limit the is 16 so much that it just didn't make sense to support anymore 